This is the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. Hi, everybody. Hi. Good morning. On the show today. Well, we talk about something that Claire Hooper brought up yesterday. If you haven't heard that chat, you should go to yesterday's Daily Podcast. Um, but it's to do with being over ni- overly nice to tradies yeah. because you're worried they're going to get some revenge on you. Yeah, true. I experienced a damn good McManusing today during the F word. I just, I did, I, did, I knew what it was like to be in your world, you. Sean. It's confusing. Yeah, it is. Um, and it is. Yeah. As it a teammate, lonely. Nathan, I was lonely. confused I, Natalie, and I was hurt. bewildered. You were hurt. And I was hurt deeply. We touched on something early this morning, too, that needs <laughs> to get a run, and that is uh, husbands who stuck by their partners mm. when they're sick. Mm. We didn't find too many. Is it a thing? <laughs> we found more than we thought we would. <laughs> Surprisingly. Plus, we catch up with Groove Terminator and uh, members of the Soweto Gospel Choir. We got that. Nathan, Nat, and Sean. This is what I came for. Yeah. 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 Puffs, Nova 937. Keep on giving me all you got. It's five past six. David and Sean. Sean, you just missed something. Uh, Are you guys having some fun without me? No, 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 we, we weren't. Sean, good, good, without good. you. We were sitting here minding our own business, <gasps> preparing for the show, doing yeah. lunges and things. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And then that netball from the West Coast Fever that's been sitting up on that windowsill Shit. there in front of the news booth just rolled off like out of a haunted film. And I went to Natalie, oh, my God, was that... Did the cameras catch that? And we are doing renovations at the moment. And The cameras are all pointing the, the wrong camera, way. That camera's not pointing there. I don't know if that, that camera would have caught it, but there's no... Look, the, other, the other studio is like, you know, like a TV station. Yep, yep. Patrick Swayze, the ghost. He so now we're in, in So now we're in this scenario where we just saw a haunting. Yeah. A legitimate haunting. And we... I don't think we're going to have the evidence. Like the people that film grainy things yeah. or Sasquatches or... Yeah. They turn around... Because if you... Lock yeah. Ness Monster. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Where are, those, where are those people now? Many years ago, when we had our Ghostbuster team uh, mm. in in action, yeah. we should get one of them back. Or Marcus, <laughs> our friend Marcus. Marcus. Who could come in here yeah. with his radar thing. His, well, his last his name is called Radar, by the way. Good morning, yeah. Marcus. Yeah. Yeah. Or it was just that Sam had just put it back on the thing and as he walked and out the door, on. it just rolled off. No, that no, didn't no, happen. <laughs> Bloody scully over here, mate. I know. Fair, <laughs> fair Unbelievable <laughs> stuff. Just holes in everything. Unbelievable. No? Hey, um, <laughs> today more opportunities to get in the running to go and see Taylor Swift in Tokyo. That's yeah. cool. That is awesome. um, because Remember? that's been given away on Monday. So you're running out of chances last week to get involved. Yeah. Uh, yep. uh, the Blink 182. The concert is coming. And a lot of people are excited. Popey and his wife, Beck from Esperance, are going. Are they, they're driving up for <laughs> it. <laughs> Popey it's loves like, the concert, though, doesn't he? He loves the concert. He does. It's like a 16 hour round trip. Blink 182. Or 182. Has he given you a definitive answer? Well, who answer? knows? Who knows? Uh, Jordan Usher's going to join us yes. as well. Um, and we're going to get him to play. He's not coming, Amy? No, oh. no. We've got a, yeah, we've got a thing to discuss about that. Oh. Yeah. He backed he's out. He's just got a text message. Oh. He, he, his partner isn't well, so he's going to stay oh, home and look okay. after him. And Amy was actually, we're talking in the hallway. I know this is a long extended conversation, but Amy's like, my husband wouldn't stay home no, for no, me. No, no, no. And no, Nord, no, obviously, no, no, Sean, really? for I, Megan. I would have to, I'd literally would have to be, like, unable to physically move and talk, I reckon. So, and, but then still, him to stay home to you would still have to drive yourself to the hospital. Yeah. <laughs> Can I just say something? So Amy, Amy's obviously got this, te- got this test off of Jordan. <laughs> She's furious. Because Jordan's <laughs> doing something <laughs> lovely and she is fueled with anger over it. <laughs> <laughs> no, knowing that my husband would not. Okay. Okay. I, to right. to ch- I said to Amy in the All hallway, right. how, about how about this? You're sick. <laughs> Right? Will your partner stay home to look after you? And th- th- I'd like to hear this yeah, too. Yeah. There's no one. Yeah. Let's go for g- girls and guys. The people that definitely know their partner will not stay home you and look after you. You have to be dying them. for yeah, them because, to help you out. You know, it's, you've been in the situation for yeah. sure. You've been really sick. Yeah. You can't function, can't go to yeah. work. Your you can't look like, after nah. yourself. They're like, I've got to go. Yeah, they chuck a bowl of water on the ground like you're a dog. <laughs> We're going to give somebody a $150 petrol voucher. Why not? Oh, yeah. So what do you reckon? Drive, drive yourself to hospital. Yes, you yes. can. You can visit Joel and his team at Melbourne Mazda for a test drive today. Natalie, you picked up your new Mazda I yesterday. I sure did. Brand new Mazda CX-5. Look at the goods. The smell. The, oh, the the amazing. Smell. Melbourne Mazda. The best smell right. going around. Right. Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. One thing when I started working here was really difficult in that uh, we had so many kids in a short period of time sure. and I remember the whole time I there was some horrendous stuff going on at my house for yes. a long period well, it of time it sounds like there was a bit of an orgy there for a minute <laughs> <laughs> it was some absolutely good times too that, that, that wasn't no the worst 
goes for it. <laughs> but I, there, there was only occasions I thought, oh, this is so bad, I've got to ring our boss. Yes. And the boss at the time, and you guys remember oh, how it was, we were right? About this this yeah. It was so. It, it was, was impossible. Anybody using their it was actual impossible. sick leave or carer's leave. To yeah. the point where the building was burning down one day and we just yes. moved into another room. None of us could go home and we yeah. just carried on. And that was the attitude of the day. So yes. I, I think things are. Maybe temporary. That also have. didn't have any children. But I was talking so, about yeah. as well. I said, like, I'm um, the same reign of terror. Um, uh, well, well, what happened during that time is you would feel sick. And nowadays they look at sickness in yeah, the normal home. way, which Nobody is stay home it. because no one else wants to get sick. But back then it was like, you're weak. Yeah, 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 Come yeah, yeah. Here, yeah. yeah. Stay home if you're don't weak. Don't let the team down. But you don't stay home. Hey, Melanie, hello. Hello. Hey, Mel. Hi, Mel. All right, Mel. Now, if you're sick, does your partner stay home? No, he didn't. Okay, tell us the story. Uh, 12 years ago, I got diagnosed with breast cancer and I had to have chemo. Yeah. Oh. I used to have chemo on a Friday. Yeah. He'd come to chemo with me, but then I would get home that night and he'd be right, I'm going off to the main to watch football. <laughs> Are you still married, Melanie? No. Okay, okay. You can't. Oh, Mel. Leave That's probably someone. the right outcome. Mel. Yes, who is suffering cancer how to go and does... drink with your mates. Now, how long does chemo go for? Um, I had chemo for six months and then I had radiation for six weeks and I had four surgeries in one year. Oh, well, Because I'm Mel. just wondering, I'm, I'm just wondering if you're in it and oh, I'm, yeah, just, I'm yeah. wondering if you're in it, if he normalises her chemo like oh, yeah. she's just going to the shops. But it's after still at the court, yeah, yeah, for a while. But it's still, I mean, yeah. it's not good on paper or no. hearing it on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mel. Jay's in Jane Brook. Hello. Hello, guys. How oh, are you? Hey, Jay. Right, Jay. What, what happens in your relationship? Do you look after one another? Well, I'll just put it into this perspective. My husband doesn't do hospitals. He doesn't do doctors. He literally has panic attacks. <laughs> so he does. Every time I have to go to the doctors or the hospitals, and I've broken a couple of bones, I've had to ask my mother-in-law or drive myself. Yes. However, if I get sick, even the slightest sniffle or tell him I have a migraine, he hovers like a blowfly. He does not leave my side to the case where I actually have to tell him to leave me alone because he's making me feel worse. <laughs> but, so really, but, but, but if a bone is sticking out of your leg and you're bleeding, he'll leave you there. I'll have to He'll leave me there and just run. <laughs> no, he'll, like, he'll look after while she's there, but he won't take her to hospital. <laughs> Do you think that he's Sorry. he's hoping that he may get that flu or that? Oh, you he's, know, try, he's trying to get it, and, and therefore he gets the day off. No, but the thing is, he, if he if he can't get the day off, he'll ring me like thirty times. Are you okay? Have you had enough water? Have you had your Panadol? Uh, do I need to bring anything on the way home? It literally drives me Barney, so I have to, oh, to turn my phone Jay, off. Jay, 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 so it's not great. Will you, if, if you're lying on the couch sick, will he rub your head or something like that? Yes. Or, oh. yes. He is hey, lovely, Jay. Sean, Look at Sean. Jay, have, you been have, you been, have, you been, have you been sick and Megan, will Megan rub married, your head? Do you want to make the worst? Yeah. We've been married for 26 years and he oh. still does it. <gasps> That is fantastic. God, so many women yes. right now are getting... Our enraged. producer, Amy, is furious. Mate, furious. Look, when I'm sick, mm. Megan will... Oh, she doesn't come near me anyway, but she will definitely want oh, me yeah, to so, yeah. sleep in another room and she'll just put yeah. on this big show, I the come nice nowhere thing, near me, I, spray all around me. I got a bit sick over our break and I thought that... and I, I caught myself mm. catching this um, thought where... I thought if I was with someone right now, if I had a partner, I could lie around. They could just yes. feel my back until yes. I went to and sleep. Bring, bring, so bring, I thought that's bring what, your glasses of water and I thought things. that's what yeah. partners did. Yeah. But apparently they don't. No, I do it. Well, Jay's, I do it. Jay's does. Yeah. So yeah. well done, I definitely Jay. Do it. Uh, Siobhan's in Bedford. Hello. Hi, how are you going? Hi, Siobhan. What happens in your relationship when someone's sick? Um, so I had to have a shoulder reconstruction. So I had to, my partner just went to work that day. So I Ubered myself to the hospital. <laughs> um, I had the reconstruction. And then the next day, his brother came and picked me up from hospital, delivered me home. I was in a massive sling, lots of pain. My partner comes home from work that afternoon, kind of walks in the house. Yep, I'm on the couch, walks into the kitchen. He's like, what are we having for dinner? <laughs> is your partner um, Sean McManus? <laughs> <laughs> is this Megan? Siobhan, no. <laughs> he looks at me on the couch and he's like, all right, Dave, like, what are we having for, dinner? Having for dinner? And I kind of look at him yeah. and I'm, you know, drugged up to my eyeballs yes. and I've got ice pack on and I can't really, you know, move yeah. much. And I was like, I, I don't know, babe. 
to me to make something for you? And he's like, oh, nah, nah, I, I, sh- I should probably do it, shouldn't I? <laughs> Look, you probably should, but Siobhan, I, 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 I like to argue for him, you have been home all day. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Nathan. That was really good of you. Hey, let's Siobhan. not forget my t- my time. Every time I have an operation, That's what happens? That's true. Nobody, you oh, sit at the no, moment. Who's the, shit? who's the last person that offered to pick you up from Marlene. the hospital? My mum. <laughs> <laughs> and they're not married. They just have Thanks, sex. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> That's why she's more invested. Well, that's guaranteed at the end she'll stroke my forehead. <laughs> <laughs> Give the prize away. I'm Come on. other things, Sean. <laughs> Everybody we just spoke to is in the running to go and see Taylor Swift oh, in great. Tokyo, of course. They were fantastic. $150 petrol voucher. Visit Joel and his team at Melville Mazda for a test drive today. Go and see the guys. Look, Jay, I'm going to yes. give it to her because her husband... Is a unicorn. I know, but... it's not, because it's no, like no, 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 if there's blood or... Oh, yeah, no, oh, yeah, no, 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 no injury. If, hospitals. Yeah. She can't, she, you can't visit Breaks. her at hospital or take her to a doctor. Um, but also, she finds it annoying, which is even funnier. Yeah, that's funny. Uh, well done. This is a podcast of Nathan, Nat and Sean. One of the best fans on the earth, Blink-182! Let's do it. This is our song. Let's hear it for Blink-182 from the best seats in the house, thanks to Bankwest. Not long well, now until Blink-182 comes to Perth. The two massive shows. Bankwest have hooked us up with two tickets to Blink-182, plus 100 bucks for food and drinks to give away. We're going to call them a whole heap of different names. Yep. Yeah, every day uh, we are naming a competition after a Blink-182 song. I, I can tell you right now, I've never heard Adam's song. But? But today... All the questions are going to be about famous Adams. Mm. Is this so, what Adam's song sounds like? Up for grabs. Go. This is Adam's song. Yeah, no, but this is yeah, every you, song. What did you say? You say oh, yeah. all right. Let's have a listen. We're going to get into it. Is this, blink, this, is this, this Blink 18 this, too? This is Blink 182. <laughs> this would be a, um, just the instrumental. Just, oh, just Adam's this song is instrumental. No, no, just this version. Oh. Oh, 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 oh yeah, yeah. The lyrics to kick in. Yeah, they won't. There aren't any. They won't kick in. Lucky. So are, you, are you just like just like just going to slowly stroll through 2024, are you? We need a sprinter. 302410. <laughs> uh, if you want to no. play, two people will go ahead. Speed head endurance, head. in fact. <laughs> Caller call number four. six and call her 18 if you want to put your body on the line. Here's the weekend, blinding lights. Is this an instrumental too, or are you going to play the one with the words? I'll give you some lyrics. Oh, thank you so much. Can we have some more? Levi and Emma are going to go out this morning. We'll start with you, Levi. Good morning. Morning. How you going? Good, Good Levi. Man. Levi, to you, yeah. is it Blink-182? Is it Blink-182? Is it Blink-182? Uh, I'm a Blink-182 guy. 180. 182 yeah. guy. Let's okay, go yeah. to Emma in Byford. Hi, Emma. Hello. Hi, Emma. Hi, Emma. Blink-182, Blink-182, Blink-182. Blink-182. One eight two. I'm a blink one eight two. Are yeah. You're a blink one eighty two. Are well, you? I'm, okay. I'm just swinging. Where do you feel? Sure. Just do it naturally. Up. Just do it naturally. Turn around. Blink one eight two. Blink one eight two. Okay. So okay, we have got that out of the way. This is going to be amazing, guys. Famous Adams, they're everywhere. Yes. We're going to have a simple oh, question. God. It's your job to buzz in with your name. Be the first in. <laughs> And tell us who the Adam is. You get it right, you take the point. You get it wrong, we'll let the other person have a crack? I don't know. Sure, let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get you shouldn't get it wrong. Though. We've got a bunch of questions. Once we're finished, we'll see who's winning. There's about ten. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. So let's test your buzzers. Levi. Levi. Emma. Emma. All right. Emma, Emma, if you could just be a little bit louder, yes, you're quite Emma. soft. Uh, yeah, that's Sorry. It. That's yeah, that's it. better. We, we just want to be able to hear yeah, you. We want every woman on this planet to be heard. Yes, we do. <laughs> All right, everybody. Welcome to Adam's Song. This Adam is the DC superhero played by Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Levi. Levi? Black Adam. Levi's on the board, everybody. Knows his Adams. He leads 1-0. Second question. <clears throat> this Adam is the lead singer of Maroon 5. Levi. Yes, Levi. Adam Lambert. Incorrect. Correct. Do you want to have a crack, Emma? Um, I don't know. I can try. Yeah, yeah. can try. Nothing yeah. to lose. Just yeah. And now would be good. Um, <laughs> sorry. I don't know. No, okay. Adam okay. Levine. That's Adam Levine well, was yeah, the but, answer, yeah. but buzzed yeah. out. Okay. Number uh, Levi leads um, one nil. This Adam is a legend of Australian cricket. 
Oh, are you serious? Are you guys joking? I don't know if they're serious. He's a national serious. treasure. Oh. Have we lost them? He's on our show all the time. Levi, are you there? Yeah. Not He's serious. on our show all the time. <laughs> Adam Gil. Oh, Emma. Emma. Emma? Adam Gilchrist. Oh, yes. oh, Why did it take you so long? Can I say Gilly listens? Is I he know. here at the He'd moment? Be angry, yeah. He would be. Dev- he'll just no, walk into the ocean tonight. right now. He would have walked into the ocean. Is it just because everybody calls him Gilly? They've forgotten his name's know. Adam. I don't know. All right. Uh, well, Emma's tied it up. It's uh, one all. All right. Here we go. <laughs> this Adam was the runner-up on American Idol and is now the lead singer of Queen. Levi. Yes, yes Levi. Levi. Uh, is it Adam Lambert? Yes! yes. <laughs> but are you just going to answer Adam Lambert for everyone? Why don't we do a competition tomorrow called Is It Adam Lambert? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you say it often enough, eventually you're going to be right. Um, Levi leads 2-1. Right, the next one's going to be an audio clue. You need to tell us who this Adam is, but you need to listen first. Here is the audio clue. Stop looking at me, swan! Levi? Yes, Levi. Levi? Uh, Adam Sandler. It is Levi. <laughs> yes, Levi leads three-one. <laughs> Funny line. Okay, next Adam. This Adam used to live in the Garden of Eden. Levi. Yes, yes Levi. Levi. Is it uh, Adam? Yes. <laughs> Oh, no, that's all it is. Emma, 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 Emma. The OG. He's the, the OG. OG. He's yeah, the OG. Yeah, Good call. Yeah. And Adam, you should be... I'm oh, sorry, Levi, you should be ashamed of yourself for how long that took to. Um, <laughs> Levi leads 4-1. All right. This Aussie Adam is a professional golfer who plays mainly on the PGA Tour. His last name is also a first name. Oh, yes. Oh. Good, good clue. You never trust a man. Emma? Yes, Emma. Emma. Adam Geisler? No. Adam who? Adam what? I don't know. (laughs) Just a made-up name. Did you say Adam Geisler? (laughs) (laughs) Levi, did you want to have a crack? Uh, Adam Scott? Yes, Yes, it is Adam Scott. Once again, someone went to Adam's college. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next question. This Adam played Rebel Wilson's love interest bumper in Pitch Perfect. It's a tougher one, this one. It is Emma? a tougher one. Yes, Emma. Emma? Oh, no. It's not Adam Sandler again. It's no, not Adam no, it's Sandler. Not no. Did you want to have a crack, Levi? Uh, Adam Devine. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we've got a winner there now. All right, a clear winner. Yeah, Levi, yeah. you are off to see, as you like to call them, Blink 182 at RAC Arena, plus 100 bucks what? for food and drinks is all yours, Levi. Well played. Thank you. No no worries. Worries. How, many, how many Adams did he get right, Levi? Uh, he, he got, got six. six. To Emma's one. I'm, I'm, did you find some of Adam's song quickly, just so we can, yes, like, do. just just quickly? Sorry. We just need to be able to experience this. Here we go. Oh, we've heard the music part. Get us to some lyrics, please, Harry. Oh. Oh. No, yeah, we know this song. Hearing it for the first time. Do we? Yeah. I think it's just I that all these songs yeah. sound the same. Maybe it does. <laughs> Maybe I haven't heard this, but I think I have. Yeah, you've heard this. Is this off a TV show? It's on a show? Feels like it is. Okay, it's apparently it's off a show. show. Hey. <laughs> Nathan, Nat and Sean. Podcast. The other day, we were joined in the studio after the show yeah, 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 by yeah. some yeah. amazing performers, Groove Terminator, and uh, members of the Soweto Gospel Choir oh. who are in town. It's Fringeville, of course. The show's called um, History of House. Mm. Uh, let's have a listen. Fringe World, as we know, is in full swing, and one of the star shows is well. called History of House, and it stars none other than Groove Terminator, who's in the house, and a couple of members of the Soweto Gospel Choir. We've got Shimmy and we've got Smash with us. Welcome, guys. Cheers, good morning, thanks. good morning. Good morning, Hi, everybody. Yeah. Groove Terminator. Mm, GT in the house. You know what? The man behind the name. <laughs> we have gro- oh, we've, we've, years Groove Terminator's been. How long have you been doing this for? Oh, gosh. It's um, it's definitely in dog years. It's a long, long time. Mm. I think it's probably 38 years, I think, now I've been DJing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my yeah. God. When I started GT. in the womb. I started yeah. in the womb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Clearly. Yeah. There might be a few <laughs> people. On the ovaries. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Spinning them like records. On the ones and twos. There too. might be a few people who think, oh, do I know a Groove Terminator song? Do you ever? 
10 or 11 or like 3, 4, 5. If you're playing in Melbourne, you can finish like 7, 8 in the morning. I mean, no. I've got little kids, so it doesn't matter what time I get home. They're up at 5 a.m. Dad, going, Dad, 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 let's go, let's go. Oh, gee, I could oh, never do that. God. No. Right, well, tell us all about yeah. the show that you've created. So, yeah, the show, History of House, is basically um, a trip through the decades of dance music. Um, so we, we start telling about house music, and I think the golden era for house music really is the 90s. I'm a little biased. Mm. Oh, it and is. Then, and then we take a time machine going back to the 70s and the 80s and talk about the roots of it and where it comes, where it, how it all is today. And, yeah, we kind of, it's just an explosion of, of singing and dancing and jumping all around. All killer, no filler. All killer, no filler, <laughs> absolutely. Wow. Yeah. So basically two awesome genres of music just smashed together. Yeah. Oh, it's disco, it's 80s, it's everything. You know? yeah. Yeah. Well, Amazing. I- GT there. Yeah, nice. Groove Terminator. Mm-hmm. Um, if you want to go see the show, Recobite Hall, uh, tickets from uh, fringeworld.com.au. There are shows through to Sunday. Fantastic. Nandy. It's the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. Nothing's getting through, so let me spell it out. A, B, C, D, E, F, word. These three might think they're VIPs, and you will too when you head to Fringe World Festival. Fringe World returns January 19 to February 18. Tickets at fringeworld.com.au. Oh, it's the happiest time of year. Fringe World 2024 is happening right now to celebrate. Yeah, we've got a VIP experience for you to see Hans Disco Spectacular. Oh, uh-huh. Hans. At the Euro, Euro Grand? The Euro, Euro Grand. Euro Grand. Okay, plus $1,000 cash. Uh, the F word returns, everybody. Mm. Today we're going to be playing with Jordan Usher, but he is such a beautiful, beautiful boyfriend. Mm. His partner is sick and he's decided to stay home and take okay care of her. her. So mm. up is our boss, David McClung. Hello. Welcome, Hello, Dave. David. Thanks. David McClung. You've been listening to the F word for the last couple of days? Yes, but what I still you, needed it explained to Are me. you mm. proud of your little team? <laughs> uh, I mean, oh, especially no, when they what? asked about it. <laughs> I just had a go at him in the kitchen. Yeah. Um, really? uh, all right, so there is um, Nathan, Nat and Sean here. Um, as all parents do, we would like you to choose your favourite. No, so that's... you have to pick who you're teaming up with. Obviously, you would pick your favourite. Yeah. Because you're trying to win. Yeah. yeah. You'll wanna... pick your favourite person. You'll pick your favourite person. You prefer... yeah, you, your favourite professionally and your favourite personally. Sean. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay, so clearly he hasn't been listening mm. for the last two days. <laughs> Heavy is the head that wears the crown, David. <laughs> the ramifications from what he just said will be far and great. Yes, that's right. Okay, and so I am Dave, sure he is aware of that. Dave, would you like to be the person on your team giving the clues or the person guessing? Uh, I'll be guessing. You'll be guessing. So, be guessing. so you I've want Sean this. to give the clues. It's yes. going to be great, David. Sean yes. McManus to give the clues. Yes. I think Hilarious. It'll be good. This, Sean. <laughs> okay. All right. I guess it's you and me again, Nathan. Oh, well, Natalie. I mean. You know what? Where are we going to put all the prizes? <laughs> got a couple of contestants who want to be a part of it, Megan uh, and Corey, but we'll start with Megan. For, uh, Megan and Sean need to go together, don't they? Don't they, Jess? No, ask Megan. <laughs> Hello, Megan. Hi. Hi, Megan. Megan, the decision is all yours. Um, you get to choose mm. who you want representing you. Would you like Nathan and Nash? The or, double ends. Or would you like Sean and David? Dumb and Shauna. I'm going to have to go Nathan and that. Oh, that's oh, weird. What that's a surprise. So what a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Natalie, just, Natalie just fell off the stool. It's a really shocking revelation. Mm. That means, Corey, you're stuck with the slops, Cos. Sorry. That's okay. Oh. It is okay. It I'm is okay. I'm confident for them. Are you? Yeah. That's okay. Well, you yeah. haven't heard this game then. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes, Funnier things have happened. Sean, you're right. Yes, that's going true. in happened. overconfident. That's a good yeah. point. Is the, your biggest mistake. Because remember, yeah. the, so we're trying to figure out the word from the one word clues given to us by yeah. our teammate. But if we hit the F word, we're out. Yeah. So yeah. we've got to just go. Bradbury, guys. Yeah. Just yeah. Think it's of possible. That. The trick is, um, the F word is closely or closely mm. aligned with the winning word, mm. and you could accidentally say it you if could. we say the F word. Oh no! I know. So this could just turn pear shaped. It could very quickly. Oh, the pressure. I know. All right, round one, we'll take who's who's I'm, guessing out of you two. So uh, I'm guessing. Uh, David, David, and you're right. guessing who, so Natalie. We are uh, I'm pitching, take our... Natalie's catching. <laughs> We're blocking our ears. <laughs> Can you go, no, go away from the everything. Oh, you have We're to turn, corner. you have to turn. Like, you, Blair like, Witcher, Blair Witcher, go in the corner and face the corner. Thank you. Okay. All right, here we go. First word. The winning word is flex and the F word is muscle. All right. We're mm. good? Yep. All right. 
Nathan, we're first because Megan picked us. Okay, I was really thinking about it. Uh, I'm nervous now. That's okay. Keep going. Okay. I just hope that we I sunk our brains. Yes, yeah, we did. Well, we did our sinking Earlier. process beforehand. We did. You can check that out on the social. <laughs> 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 uh, okay. Flex. Mm. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait, oh, wait. Yeah, oh, we're up. Oh, we're up already. That's the winning word. Come on. That's the winning word. David, you just say the winning word. Yes. I just said it. Woo! I just said it. Steven Brebery. What an idiot. I was supposed to say another thing. Have you been possessed by him? That's what he does. This is when Sean said anything could happen. Yes, it happened. All right. So Sean and Dave, that was flex, and the and the, um, and the, and the, and the F word was muscle. Mm. Um, so Sean and David what lead one nil. What an idiot! They're going well so far. I know. Hold well on, David. What are you? Okay. Oh. Okay. okay ready? Ready? ready. Mm-hmm. Jesus. All right. The winning word is tequila, and the F word is margarita. Oh. This is hard, you're right, because what happens... Oh, yeah, come back. This is hard because what happens, Sean, is sometimes you can give a clue and then that clue with my clue could help. Yeah, you know I, I, mean? I know. But, but and and this one that I thought first, straight don't... away will definitely help the other way around. Yeah. Mm. It's tough okay. Or, oh, here we go. Okay. Hopefully you have an idea here when I hey, say Hey, 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 hey. What? No, no instructions. Just get, say the word. Sit down, mate. You've won a couple in a row, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay, here, here me, is the word. Megan. Here is the word. Terramana. <laughs> Terramana? Dinosaur? No. What? I don't know what that meant, by the way. Oh. <laughs> Harry, you any idea what I was talking about? A little bit, but it was a stretch. Do you don't know what that <laughs> is? You don't know what that is. How do you not know what that is? I don't know what it is. I thought you would. I don't know what that is. I thought you would. No, I don't know what that is. God, we're really upsetting each other today, all right. <laughs> Worm. Earth. It's okay. Now no, he's going to win. Okay, okay. Lemon. <laughs> Compost? Oh, okay. This is our moment. This is our moment. Shooter. Tequila. <laughs> Did that now come from my best friend? I'm so sorry. All right. It's not lost. It's not lost. What did you say? Terramana or tequila brand? Terramana is the Rocks tequila brand. But you couldn't think of any other tequila brand. Well, I don't want to give you. I don't want to give it to you. I can't give it to you. Because we could have gone down the gilly... The gilly yeah. pathway, yeah, and then you'd have nailed it straight All away. All I want to do is dun 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 dun. dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I wanted to do. Would that have been considered a word? <laughs> <laughs> No, you could only say dun. All right, one all, David. It's one all. Oh, Round three. Okay. Oh, oh, step away. Oh, uh, okay. All good. Yeah. 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 Yep. Yep. The winning word is money, and the F word, cash. Hmm. David, all good. Whew, okay. Uh, so, uh, Nathan, you're giving the first clue. Don't say the word. Oh, no, it's all right. <laughs> <Dab. laughs> run, run, run. Penny. Oh. You would know where I'm going with if you were in my head. Yeah. <laughs> The labyrinth. Knock? Mm. I was close to what's in your head. <laughs> no, 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 no. Moolah. Money. <laughs> 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 
I went with, do you know where I was going with? Money Penny. Oh, see, I was going with Penny, Penny, Penny. Yeah, yeah, no, I, yeah I was going Money Penny. I was going Money Penny. I, I was in your head, better different head. I can't live in this world. I can't live in this world. Is it? That's it. Is that, if we around to three Do we lose? No. That's it. That's three. That's three. No, we definitely go to five. That's three. We won. We won. Yes, Corey. Corey. Yes, Corey. Favourite child, and now I know why. Why did you say you're the cat? <laughs> <laughs> well done, Corey. Oh, you are obviously a great show. The Hands Disco oh. Spectacular at Luro Grande. Plus $1,000 cash <laughs> is all yours, Corey. Thank you very much. Well right. done, David. No worries. I know. Miracle. Sorry, did you the say sorry, David? Happened. And then. No, no, that's all she no, said. Well done, David. Well done, David. <laughs> well, I mean, what's the thing that's changed? <laughs> what what's, the, what's the element that's changed, Sean? That's a great point. This is the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. Our mate, comedian Claire Hooper, was in yesterday and yep. she was talking to us about how she's undergoing renovations at the moment. Mm. Yep. And then she said something and we were like, does this really happen? Mm. So have a listen. We're yeah. so desperate to impress our builder that we act super cool because we don't want him to, you know. To be we cool want him to, oh yeah, we get it. We yeah. want him to like us so he doesn't build hate rubbish into the walls. Sure. So every time he gives us bad news, it's just like, like oh, that's fine. hey, we found a forty centimeter concrete slab in the subfloor, and we're like, oh, that's cool, great. Please don't put bodies under the floorboards. Um, yeah, and it's interesting, yes. isn't it? Because Claire was suggesting that it would be common practice that if you do have a stoush with a builder, the day they're putting in your wall. Insulation right. could also be the day that they put in a couple of powerful egg sandwiches mm. right. that over time yes. will cause a problem. When you're dealing with the bigger builders in Perth and they're the ones who they don't do the work necessarily on the house, the trades are the one you need to suck up. Yeah, suck but no, up she's, with. So got, you, she's talking to the guy that's doing yes. the work. That's yeah, what she's yeah, talking but about. It's the builder, he's going to have all those trades, so you need to be really sucking up to them. Mm. They're the ones you really need to look do after. The, do I you, would do say you, be nice to everyone. Yeah, be nice. Oh, but oh, sometimes the situation so doesn't warrant niceness. Sometimes no. you have to have an argument, and then yeah. are you going to, like, you know, get punished because of that? Remember when they were building the tunnel, the polypharma tunnel? There was, did you hear the rumour that was going on? It was rife at the time that apparently, because there was some stop work, work stuff that was happening yeah. at the time, and the workers were getting upset about something, so there was a rumour going around that one of the workers, <laughs> it's so fake when you think of it, threw um, their helmet into some wet concrete, <laughs> and that was going to stuff up the structural integrity of one of the panels. <laughs> In the wall, and, and the whole thing's going to collapse at any time. And I went, I don't know. So you don't drive someone that's upset would. Well, there was the... would, would risk a tunnel collapse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's, if that was really what would happen. Yeah, they, but they never drive through it. So <laughs> and, um, there was that, you know, the massive Taj Mahal that was being built yeah. in um, Dalkeith. Yep. When and the, the from that Indian billionaire couple mm-hmm. that went bust, and the, and then the whole thing sat there for yeah, ages. Fertilizer plant. Yeah, that's right. So apparently, the story was that so they were the the wife rabid vegetarian. So she had vegetarian vegan restaurants all around. A Vegetarian. Rabid, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I love that. She had vegetarian <laughs> restaurants around the world and in London and stuff. And she banned any of the workers from eating meat oh, yeah, on site. Oh yeah. And yeah. then apparently they would put meat into the mix it into the concrete, so that then it was because she was so mean to them. Oh. That and trying to control them. It's like we can't. We can have a polony sandwich. Settle down. The lady. first person who decided to do that to the mixer and chuck a, uh, I don't know, bit leg of mint, a ham bit in there or something. Oh, you, know, you think it'd be mince would be the best, yes. wouldn't it? Oh, that'd be good. That would be the funniest day. I know. Yeah, when you're flicking polony in ever. there for sure. And yeah, like, yes. until you've laid the concrete, and then overnight, just a sausage just comes yes, up. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sausage. It looks like the ground's got a skippy. <laughs> no, I don't know if it's true. Perhaps somebody who could work, who worked on that site, can tell us. But. Yep. I like to think it's true. Uh, it's the overcompensation, which I just love. I think oh, it is yes. so funny. So being super nice to Whenever somebody. Whenever I have gotten a trade or people to come and do something physical for me, so like say moving house, I've, mo- I've moved places yep. a few times, and this is ridiculous. I paid the top quality. I'll go for the top mo- yes. removal companies because I want to do nothing. Yeah, that's right. Stand back and just drive to the new place and wait for your stuff to be delivered. Every time I have paid for this top-class service, I am trying to win them over 
and I end up moving my furniture with them. It is insane. And, and so as you're I'm going physically upstairs lifting things. with a fridge, I'm going, what am I doing? Exactly. That's, That's what carrying that piano door. every time is very <laughs> difficult. I've got to get rid of it. Mm. I've got to get rid of that grandmaster. <laughs> <laughs> it just, uh, you know what? It doesn't warrant the space when all I can play is chopsticks. <laughs> <laughs> so we want to talk about two yes. things right now, right? We want to talk about um, uh, what did she call it? Trady revenge? What was it? No, uh, no hate trash. Hate she trash. Said hate trash. The, the whole idea of hate trash. Do people put things in things if they have been, oh, yes. been displeased over a situation, or in some way yeah. sabotage what they're yeah. working on? So we'd like to talk about that, and then yes. also um, we'd also like to talk about. Overcompensation. O- overcompensating, yes. yeah. So you've paid someone, so you've, you're, you've paid a worker to come around and for some reason you were waiting on them hand and foot because you want them to like you. Or like Megan <laughs> cleaning the house to within an inch of yes. itself before the cleaner arrives. He's coming tomorrow, oh, Mike, anyway. and the house will be spotless. Mike, Mike's the best preserved cleaner ever because he's never had to do anything. <laughs> uh, we're going to be giving somebody a $300 voucher to spend at Oakover Grounds. You can experience the finest offerings in WA's best backyard. Book at oakoverwines.com.au. All right. So, tradies, have you exacted revenge on somebody who wasn't nice to you? Yeah. And as a result, people, are you really nice to the people that do work for you? Like, too nice. Yes. Overcompensating, Overcompensating massively. Sue's in Frio. Hello. Good morning. Hey, Hi, Sue. Sue. What have you got for us? I, I, we built a house about 10 years ago. Mm-hmm. Um, every every morning, I'd take morning tea, smoke home for my tradies. Mm-hmm. And if the tradies were there for the whole week... They'd get a six pack on the Friday afternoon. Yeah, yeah it, it that's adds good. a bit to the cost of their bill, doesn't it? <laughs> I was used to think when we were bringing the Terps around that yeah. how these yeah. bastards yeah. going to drive home. Okay. So, yeah. so as Matt said, there's so there is a cost, but is do the benefits outweigh the cost? What you get back in return? I think so. We actually had some of the tradies turn up on the weekend just to finish the yes. job. That's nice. yeah, because um, this is the thing. Isn't and it? the builder actually gave us access. Um, to start putting in, like, the lawn and the, the backyard garden and stuff. Yeah. So when we did move in, it wasn't just a sand pit. Oh, that's good. Um, yeah. No, I reckon it... It, it, it paid. It, yes, yes. You know it what it is? Away. If I was a tradie, right, I would get really excited if the person's house that I was working on, if they walked out with a tray of sandwiches. Yeah. Just imagine that trade sandwich. So we've got some egg, we've got some ham, we've got some. You know what I mean? Oh, that's because when someone just gives you a sandwich you haven't made by yourself, isn't that great? You, mm. you do love a sandwich. Mm. I love a sandwich. You do, yeah, more than most. Mm. <laughs> Thanks, Sue. <laughs> great chat, everyone. <laughs> Lawrence is in Belcada. Hello. Good morning. How are we doing? Good, what now, Lawrence, Lawrence. Good, Lawrence. You've got the tradie side of this. We're very intrigued to talk to you. Uh, what have you got for us? Yeah. Yeah, so I did, uh, as you can tell by my accent, I'm from Dublin, Ireland. So I did my apprenticeship there. Mm-hmm. And uh, I remember going to a house. Uh, it's a, like a, a rich suburb in, in Dublin. And um, the lady was a nightmare, like from start to finish. What time are you getting here? Wipe your feet. Um, I said to her, can I use your toilet? She goes, absolutely not. You can go down to the pub. Oh, 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 yeah, she was, yeah. yeah. Oh, but you were you were you gonna were you pl- plan on laying some cable in the <laughs> toilet or what? <laughs> no, well, I was going to check the plumbing because oh. I was a plumber. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. So she sounds like a nightmare. Yeah, yeah. She, no, nah, she was. She was a bleeding nightmare. So, <laughs> long story short, uh, my boss says to me on the last day, he goes, um, "Just pack everything up, put it into the van." And I says, "Yeah, no dramas." So I did that, and five minutes later, he comes into the van, and you know. I drive down the road and he's just laughing, just giggling to himself like a little child. And I was like, what are you laughing at? And he goes, I got her, I got her good. And I was like, what did you do? And he goes, look down at me feet. And I was like, okay. So we pulled up the legs of his trousers yeah. and he would one sock on. And yeah. I was like, where's, where's your other sock? He goes, I had to wipe my arse some way. So, <sighs> And, yeah. then, and then, and then, where did he put it? Was in the dunny? The sock go? No, he went up into the attic to to do it. Yeah. Left it there, so it'll be nice and fermented, <laughs> and she wouldn't know where the smell was coming from. Oh, oh hey, that's <laughs> be, be nice, be nice to your tradies. There's a lesson there. Absolutely, don't yeah. be a nightmare. <laughs> no, don't be. Yeah, yeah. There you go. You know. <laughs> Lawrence, it's, a, Lawrence. it's a cautionary like. tale. Exactly. You can do whatever and you did. like. Yeah. And did. You can do and whatever did. you like. Yeah. Backing one out in the roof yeah. there, Nathan. Mm. Wow. Thank you, Lawrence. I, would have just, I wouldn't have just put it in the attic, though. Um, I would have put it in the air conditioning. 
Right, I get it. Mm, oh, yeah, yeah. Dublin, though, they mightn't they have might had not. it. Yeah, oh, the yeah. heating, that would have yeah. really... Yeah, the heating would have really oh, put the it heating. on. That's nasty. Uh, um, anyway, that's why Lawrence had to leave Ireland. Yeah, clearly. <laughs> uh, Ruby's at East Rio. Morning, Rubes. Morning. Hi, Hi Rubes. Hey, Ruby. Uh, what have you got for us? So it's not a tradie, but mm. my grandma actually cooks uh, sweets and treats for all of her doctors. So whenever she goes <gasps> for an appointment... She oh. takes a little tray of goodies Smart, for her. Smart, that because is this is so what, what nice. happens, right? So normally you ring up the doctor and say, I need to see a doctor, and they're like, ah, oh, we haven't got anything until Thursday week. Yeah. They will find a spot for her, yep. guaranteed. Yep. Well, to be honest, right? the doctor's office will probably cold call her and say, yes. are you, are you <laughs> sick today? Because <laughs> I forgot my lunch. We don't have any morning tea. So what's some of the things yeah. on the menu? It's mostly, so she makes baklava. baklava. Oh, yum. Yes. Baklava. Yeah. So, she takes that all the time, but it's actually got to a point where some of the doctors have started cooking in return for her. So there's a whole oh. trade system going on. I that is so not. good, Ruby. That is I so good not. and so smart. And what are the benefits? Like Natalie was saying, you know, they might yep. like get they her in on a last a minute appointment. Yep. What, what, what is she? What is she reaping from this uh, relationship? Well, I reckon that least spot on. Yep. I reckon when she needs an appointment, yep. they yeah. get her straight in. Yeah. yeah, but we also reap the benefits because we get some yummy stuff from the doctors that yes. cook for her as well. <laughs> what is the what is the doctor's cooking like? Uh, very good. Yeah, very good. We had some curry puffs the other week. Oh, lovely! Really yum. Curry nice. puffs, interesting. Yum. Yeah. Very I love good. that a doctor is at home cooking oh, no, curry, curry puffs, puffs to oh. give to one of the patients. It's really nice. Yeah, it's a beautiful so exchange. We go to, yeah. Whenever we go to grandma's as well, uh, we know there's an appointment because there's always <laughs> treats that have yeah. been cooked. So, and so you're like, oh, uh, you okay, Grandma? Doctor. Obviously, you have to go to the doctor, but she's not not too sick to knock out a whole tray of baklava. Yeah. <laughs> I reckon yeah. you should cook for us more often. That like bake for us like that. That'd be lovely. I was a bit sexist. Why? Why don't you want Nathan to, to cook for you? <laughs> because good. you opened your mouth. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're good at it. I am good at it. I'm not saying Nathan's but not. But I don't think you deserve it. And, are you, you and that's why you get this treatment you've, from you've us too. You've got nothing to saying. offer me in return. <laughs> Three hundred dollar vouchers spent at Oakover Grounds. Experience the finest offerings in WA's best backyard. Book at oakoverwines.com.au. Lawrence was telling us a story about not... a brown sock. <laughs> it's coming your way, Lawrence. It was an absolute Don't be nightmare. Rude to the guys yes. that are coming over to help you out. Absolutely, be nice to them. Nathan, Nat, and Sean podcast. This is really funny. The we'll Razzies. Be the judge of that. The Razzies. Oh yes, okay. So okay. these are the opposite of the Oscars. The Razzies are, yeah, are out, mm-hmm. and um, Russell Crowe is up for a Razzie for yep. um, the stupid Exorcist movie that it was in, apparently. Oh, okay, you're right. Yeah. Anyway, I was reading through the Razzies and seeing who's up for it, and then there was the worst prequel, remake, rip-off, or sequel. Okay. Right? So here few. are the movies that are up for contention. So these are, these are the nominees. Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quant- Quantumania, whatever it is. Terrible. Quantumania, okay. Quite a, terrible. The Exorcist, Believer. Mm. So that's the one that Russell Crowe was nominated yeah. for, yeah? The Expendables 4. Was that yeah. made in the was last year? Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Another one of those. Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. Oh, yeah. Oh, it wasn't greatly it widely it. received, was it? <clears throat> oh, here oh. we go. <laughs> He's clearing his throat, everybody. Uh, 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 um. And this is Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. <laughs> you soon will be Christopher and Mary Robin. You should be close now. We're not going to find them. We will. <laughs> Pooh, Piglet, Eeyore. We were friends for many years, and they're out there. Christopher, we need to leave. Now. I really need to find out what's happening here, okay? Years ago, a young boy named Christopher Robin meets and befriends a group of uh, creatures, Owl, Rabbit, Eeyore, Piglet and Winnie the Pooh in the 100-acre wood. However, Christopher leaves and with the arrival of winter and no food to eat, the creatures begin to starve. The, in order to survive, they settle on killing and eating Eeyore. They oh, vow to Eeyore? return to their He's feral instincts and never speak again. Five years later, Krista, now an adult, having graduated from college, returns to the 100-acre wood, accompanied by his fiancée, Mary, only to find his, the place in a desolate state. The couple are soon ambushed by Piglet, who strangles Mary to death, after which he um, and Pooh drag Christopher Robin into the woods, showing him Eeyore's skeletal remains and burning Mary's corpse. Where's Tigger in all of this? It goes on. <laughs> Quentin Tarantino, it once goes again. On. Hey, why have we not heard about this? Why is this the first that's being nominated for the Razzie? Why is this the first we're hearing about? Is it? that not insane? So that's think insane. about that. Charlie is here, and this is the Winnie Pooh that we Win- all yes. know and love. Bear, Winnie yeah. the Pooh bear. And he's just eating honey and 
man living his best life. For sure. That is... Um, so next year, obviously, this, this particular category is going to be won by Mean Girls, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's insane. This is the best, like the best um, title ever. Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Blood and Honey. It's a great, it makes a great sandwich, Nathan. <laughs> Try it. This is the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. Time for us to get out of here tomorrow on the show. The F word is back. Yeah. Um, Nathan's going to have a good hard to think about what he did today. So bad. Um, <laughs> Ross, you, hey, Ross, you enjoyed it. Yeah, you? I was in the gym listening and I was I was going to listen to some music, but I really wanted to hear what happened. And, Nate, yeah. that was a very rare mistake because you said the word you're not allowed to say. And before it... No, no, he said the actual word. I said the, the word a- that's okay, yeah. as a clue yeah. he goes, says the word. Yeah, which was flex. But in my mind, really I was going about to it. say fitness and mm. the wrong F came out. And that's yeah. how we started. It. And before it all, you were saying Sean is going to yeah. blow it and I can't well, believe it. No, to be fair, we say that every day. Talking it up. Remember? <laughs> hey, sorry. And then after oh, that, what, what? after that, oh, I said, oh, oh, but miracles can happen yes. and the wheels could fall off right yes. now. And then they did. So and then they did. Me. <laughs> he was right. <laughs> he was right. <laughs> Nathan, Nat and Sean is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcasts.com.au. Nova.